Well, you guys, this has been a rough monsoon season. We've talked about yes. that. And so let's show you just how rough it has been with not only this map, but a little help from, yeah, the price is right, and the little guy that goes up the mountain. Are you going to yodel, too? Yeah, he's yodeling right now. Yeah, that's how it works here. We'll get him going up the mountain right now. Now, at this point, we're really taking three months here into account, <laughs> June, July, and August. And here's a look at what we're shaking out at at this point and it's been rough for us june approached an inch july we tried to get there august has been rough for us total 1.60 inches average should be 3.80 inches and you don't have to be a mathematician to know that's not great for us 2.2 inches below average and we need to get to this amount meaning we need to get 2.2 inches by the end of august to get even that probably isn't going to happen for us and it's definitely not going to happen over the weekend 83 degrees for us right now southwest winds eight miles an hour looking across the state 60s and 70s to the north down to the south same sort of deal 70s and 80s though in many spots and as we check out what's happening with satellite and radar not a lot to get excited about a little bit of cloud cover pushing through most of it's dry not much happening for us on that front and throughout the weekend we're not going to see a whole lot happening here most of the moisture has been pushed on out of the state from the west to the east in other words you get the dry air starting in the west and it just kind of moved everything out a brief shower earlier in the day across southeastern New Mexico, but not much to worry about. So as we push our way into the weekend, this will continue. Slight chance of a shower across southeastern parts of the state for tomorrow, but not a lot going on. And the ugliest camel you've ever seen, along with some parched weather, headed out. I'm not even sure that is a camel, really, at this point. That is awful. But here's a look at what's happening here. We had that brief, really, day of moisture yesterday. And then what we've got is the drier air coming in from the west. Essentially, what's going to happen for us then after the weekend is we're going to build high pressure in overhead. So the real difference between this weekend and next week will be the temperature. This weekend will be okay. High 80s, low 90s in most areas over the weekend and into next week. That's when those temperatures start to rise really into next week. And we'll see the temps ending up in the mid 90s for us under that ridge of high pressure. So enjoy the weekend with nice temperatures, beautiful sunshine. And then next week we start to heat up again. 86 Farmington, 83 Cuba, 77 in Chama across the north and east. Temperatures for the most part in the 70s and 80s, although even warmer. Santa Rosa too. Can carry. Back toward the southwest, high 90s, Lordsburg, low 90s, Silver City, and high 80s in reserve. And across the south and east, temperatures here for the most part, high 90s for tomorrow. Slight chance of a shower, low 80s, Cedar Crest, Sandia Park. And then here in the Albuquerque area, we will top out tomorrow with those highs in the high 80s and low 90s across the valley. Santa Fe seven day outlook, plenty of sunshine through the beginning and even middle of next week. And here in the Albuquerque area, same sort of deal. But the one thing you're going to notice, temperatures will rise. Not bad throughout the rest of the weekend, but by Tuesday, we're back up to 95 with no threat of significant rain. Maybe a chance of showers returning by Thursday of next week. Long wait. Long wait is right. All right. Sports is next.